Good morning. Everything has been said, so um, just let me do some agreements uh, to give thanks for everything that is being done towards uh, education. Um, the first of the thanks is to the GSMA and specifically to, to John Hoffman. Um, we have to thank him because uh, obviously uh, Mobile World Congress is the uh, biggest technological and business event in the world right now, but um, he has always believed that the, this event should not just be that. It should also be an event which uh, would leave a legacy of a, a various programs regarding education uh, which are so important for the future of our kids and for the future uh, of, of Catalonia. So thank you. Thank you, uh, the GSMA. Thank you specifically, uh, John Hoffman. He has really been uh, engaged over these years in this program. And obviously, Generalitat and Ajuntament, uh, we have also led uh, this type of uh, initiatives. But I think that without his engagement, that would have not been uh, possible. The show uh... And let me secondly thank the people that are here today and that you make these programs possible, the ones that we are jointly driving with the GSMA, with the City Council of Barcelona. And it's not just the M Schools program, which has been probably a program that goes much beyond the Congress that's more important, not because of what's been going on, but because of the legacy that will be led to our children. Also to YOMO, now on the second year, the Youth Mobile that was uh, created last year. Again, this wouldn't be possible unless we had the full involvement of the Catalan Ministry of Education, but mostly of you as teachers and as a school administrators, as promoters behind this program. It was four years ago that I were, took the responsibility of leading the digital and cybersecurity and ICTs policies at the Catalan government. And when meeting with companies, their demands on the needs, and therefore on what we were advocated to do, first of all, first and foremost, was the need to have more optic fiber. That was four years ago. And now, when meeting with companies, the first demand I get from them is no longer optic fiber, but having more digital and tech uh, professionals. We have a system creating very good professionals, but yet not enough. And so taking into consideration that the labor future in our country will more and more rely on these digital skills, being ICT engineers, multimedia engineers, electronic engineers, and so on. It is very important to really do some groundwork so that in the coming years, we have the possibility to broaden up these so that we have more and more girls and boys that decide to study and learn these subjects. At the evening of the day, we have all faced uh, in our student years that teacher, that professor that was a motivator to us. And therefore, I would like to convey to you that we want you to inspire these students so that we have the possibility to have more creators in the future in the tech industry and not just users and consumers of technology. And secondly, on girls specifically, let me give you a figure that I think we need to amend. As of today, in secondary school here in Catalonia, 80% of Catalan secondary schools, no girls are studying on the scientific and technical curriculum, which is something that should be of concern because if we are seeing how digital jobs will be more and more required and we see how the 
wage divide, the wage gaps is making these type of jobs being better paid, unless we are able to bring in uh, girls and something that we cannot simply rule out, having 50% of our society, unless we are able to incentivize them to incorporate into these digital skills, what we will be having at the end of the day is an increase in this gap, which is something that we cannot simply allow in this country. So thank you very much. There is much resting on your hands, and therefore I encourage you to keep on working and helping these pool of digital skills to keep on growing.